The green compacts are then densified by sintering in a vacuum at a temperature over 1000 deg C. Post-sintering heat treatment in a vacuum at about 600 deg C is also necessary to enhance the coercivity of the magnet. Sintering will solidify the magnets. Careful control of the sintering temperature, sintering time, and oxygen content is crucial to the development of the properties of the final magnets. The influence of sintering temperature on the densification of ND B magnets. The sintering temperature has to be high enough to allow the grain boundary phase to liquefy, but not too high, since the grain growth is easily activated at high temperatures. The optimal sintering temperature varies slightly with the composition of the magnet. Post-sintering heat treatment, also called the annealing stage, enhances the coercivity by forming a continuous thin ND-rich grain boundary phase with a thin ku enriched layer along with the ND-rich-ND-2-Phi-14B interface. The formation of such a ku rich layer is expected to decouple the exchange interaction between the ND-2-Phi-14B hard magnetic grains and thereby increase the coercivity. The influence of sintering time on the densification of ND-Phi-B magnets. The sintering dwell time will affect grain growth. Ideally, small grains of ND2Phi14B surrounded by the ND rich phase is required to achieve good magnetic properties. Hence, the dwell time needs to be sufficient to achieve density, any further holding will result in grain growth. The influence of oxygen content on the densification of ND-Phi-B magnets. Increases in oxygen content can increase the possibility of the formation of ND2O3 resulting in a reduction in density. If the oxygen content is too low abnormal grain growth can occur, both the density and grain size influence the magnetic properties. 